ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Irish Film Festival, Boston. From March 23rd through the 26th, the historic Somerville Theatre was, for the seventh time, the site of the Irish Film Festival, Boston. The 17th annual awards were handed out to directors, actors, and writers from all over Ireland and the U.S. in what has become one of the premier arts events in the Boston area. Greater Somerville and SCAT TV were there for opening night. We are back here for year number seven at the Somerville Theatre for Irish Film Festival Boston. Year number 17, though, for you, Don yes. Morrissey. Thank you, you for having back. us. <laughs> we're we're back. See, we have to start meeting like this. I know, we do. Once a year. I know, know, we're even holding hands today. We're holding hands this year. <laughs> only, only because I've already had my one Guinness. And you got me my cider. There which you is go. Great. From Bantam, from there Somerville, so another. You're already smiling. And I see, I've been seeing, watching you for the past 45 minutes, running like crazy. That's but. okay. It's a great, it's great to be here. The festival is so excited to be in Somerville for another year. And pretty much we we can't believe that we have a local film film this year too on Saturday night so huge world premiere of a film Rocky Rossmuck from Sean Mannion a, a boxer from Zarchester and um, you know from Rossmuck originally and we're going to have a couple of mayors here on Saturday night our Somerville mayor but also our Boston mayor. I hear. How, yes. did, the, how did the Italian mayor get into the Irish Film Festival? Uh, I think you have to ask Jack Colney all about that. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just spoke to Jack. Jack is always so happy at this event. Oh, he loves it. Tell us great. a little bit more. Tonight is opening night. Tonight's opening night, so I do have the jitters a little bit, which is good because if I didn't, there'd be something wrong. It's always and, good. And uh, tonight we actually um, have the Young Offenders, uh, which is a comedy, and we saw it in Galway and loved it. And um, we have the short film Gridlock, which both are actually road movies, which is a good. It's nice to open with a comedy. So right. you can only go. And the young offenders. I read the I read the script on that. Oh, it's oh brilliant. My God. And it's a true story. It's yeah. about how bales of cocaine um, basically came off a trawler that was caught uh, a capsize, rolled onto the beaches of Cork, and these kids decided to go on their bikes and find a bale of cocaine. And the story took four years to make. Or the film took four years to make. And I met Peter Foot, the director two years ago when I was in Cork and he told me about this film and I was like, Ashley, let me see it when it's finished. And he's, he's done so well in the box office in the UK and Ireland and we're hoping he's going to do it as well smash. here. I hope yeah. so. I hope so. And I did notice one of the uh, actors came in tonight. Yes. Dominic. Yes. Dominic McHill is here. Yeah. So yep. maybe we get to chat with him. Yes. He plays, hopefully. He kind of plays a, a Brilliant. darker figure yes. in this whole thing. Yes. They, he's a cop on a bike. He's a cop <laughs> on a bike. He's <laughs> obsessed. Terrific lineup this year. Thank you know you. we always wish you much, much success. Thank you so much. All right, my friend. We appreciate friend. it. Thank See you. See you soon. Yes. Don Morrissey, everybody. We're here in the lobby of the Somerville Theater for year number seven of the Irish Film Festival Boston. And one of its biggest su Somerville supporters, Alderman Jack Carnley. Well, Joe, you know, we are year seven here in Somerville, but year 17 overall. So we've been here around for a while. But what a joy to be here in Davis Square in this jewel of a theater here, as we both know growing up here. Ian Judge wants us to say the historic Somerville Theater. The National Historic Somerville Theater on the list of National Historic Monuments here in Somerville. What a joy uh, to be here with some of the best musicians, including that uh, little known Irish band U2, who played here some several Jack, years Jack, you ago. always get it in there. What are you, friends with Bono? Well, let's talk about tonight's lineup. Tonight, we have uh, two of the award winners coming in, the Young Defenders. The Young Offenders, exactly. The Young Offenders is going on here this evening. Uh, we're going to have one of the actors here afterwards for a Q&A afterwards to talk about the making of the film, what went into it, and how it occurs. And what you'll notice here about a lot of the Irish films is that a lot of these, because of a lot of budgetary, a lot of them use the natural light of the uh, outdoors or at dusk, and uh, those images are really quite uh, striking. But uh, I always point that out to audiences. They may not have the huge amounts of money that uh, they do out in Hollywood, but they make very use of the creative talents and the wonderful writing and the talents of uh, the Irish producers and filmmakers. On a little darker note, one of the other uh, films that's going to be shown tonight is called Gridlock. It's not about Davis Square at 6 o'clock, is it? 
it is unfortunately not about Davis Square at six o'clock, and it, uh, although it might be a little bit on the on the darker side, it's something that will certainly captivate everybody's imagination. And for those people who didn't get it, there is an opportunity you can look it up and see if you can find that. Uh, and, or if not, you can get hold of me. I'll make sure you find out how to get it as well. And it's all weekend. Starts. It kicks off tonight, Friday night, and it goes through Saturday and Sunday here at the Somerville Theater. And right now, one of the best kept secrets are the short films that we have during the afternoon on both Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we're almost all sold out on Saturday because it's the short films are very, very popular in the area. So I'd encourage people to get out here and make sure to avail themselves of that and that all evening uh, performances are gonna be extremely popular, so please get here. Jack, as always, thank you for what you do for Davis Square. Wedgwood Conley Crane is one of the proud sponsors for tonight's premiere events. We are very happy to uh, make that our, the opening film this evening. We're very pleased to do so, and we're very happy that SCAT TV is here and doing a great job, they always do. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you around. Thank you very much, Joseph. Thank you, Jack. If you're under the age of 16, you're classified as a young offender, which basically means you can't get in trouble. For some reason, they thought that our brains weren't developed enough or something, like, you know, that we wouldn't know what we were doing or something. I know, it's stupid, isn't it? Spicy. They... It's not you I don't trust, it's Jock I don't trust. You know, like a Siamese twin, giant of the one brain. See that? That's called a sucker fish. That's gonna be your nickname in prison. Police are searching the coastline of West Cork for an estimated 440 million euros worth of cocaine that went overboard. This time tomorrow, we could be millionaires, like. I think how easy it will be to find a bail as well. I'm trying to find something wrong with your plan. I was looking around town for ages, looking for the perfect bike for you. Well, that's a girl's bike. It's got the, the fanny dip thing. I don't want that. Fanny I want... dip thing, but it's got three gears. Can you swim, though? I can swim, and I can swim pretty well, but... That's it, boy! The bike! Starts off with a bike, then a car. Get your the Mickey bike. off my back! You gotta stop him when you're young. What by the guards? What are we gonna do, Jack? We're going on our holiday. Time for you to use your talk here. Dancing in the disco bump, hands a bump, Wait a minute. Help me jump up! Help me jump up! One away, one away! 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 One away, one I got kicked by a young fat and I shot an elbow. <laughs> and what are you doing? I'm calling the guards before that drug dealer arrives. No, you can't! You was gonna cover your days off in the shop when I'm being raped in prison. You're young offenders. You'll end up in a juvenile detention centre. Yeah, there's rapists there too, they're just a bit younger. And we're here with Dominic McHale one of the stars of The Young Offenders. Premiere showing tonight here at the Somerville Theater. Welcome to Somerville. My pleasure. Glad you could make it. You just Ubered yourself in. Yes. Yeah, exactly. terrific. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Detective Healy and what he has to do in The Young Offenders. Well, I think he's got one of the most difficult jobs in the entire film because he's got no one to talk to, really. He's kind of a lone wolf. He's, on, he's in pursuit of the two lads for the entire film and he really doesn't have anybody to bounce ideas off because his superiors in the police station don't really respect what he's doing. Obviously, the two young lads don't respect the law, so he's kind of got to blaze a lonely trail for himself. And Dominic, this is um, a comedy with some dark twists to it. The young boys, the uh, two young stars, are trying to track down a bale of cocaine. That is correct. I mean, it, it is primarily a comedy, but there are also moments of kind of... There's quite a few touching moments in it that really caught me by surprise when I first saw the film. And obviously it's got a more, as you said, a slightly darker undertone because of the nature of their pursuit. But uh, I think ultimately it comes off, you, you come away feeling lighter as opposed to heavier after seeing it. And it's getting rave reviews in Ireland. Hopefully it'll get the same treatment here in Somerville. Absolutely. I mean, we were initially slightly skeptical that it would even do well outside of Cork, you know. But uh, it did very well nationally. It grossed uh, 1.2 million, which was fantastic for it. And it's even done well internationally too. I mean, it won awards at, it was in Austin in Texas, and it won awards at the LA Comedy Fest as well. So all without subtitles, which was remarkable. I mean, I thought, I mean, I have trouble understanding them at the best of times, so God help other people trying to understand. Careful now, there's a lot of people from Cork who are gonna watch this interview. That's true, I, I, 
I have no doubts that it'll be well received here, though. I'm very sure. You're also getting reviews, terrific reviews, for playing Michael Collins in another movie that you're in this year. Yes, uh, that's a great arrangement. Uh, it's by a guy called Pat Talbot, and we it, it's toured nationally around Ireland. And it's been very well received. Uh, it was it was an honour to to play that character, and it really was a chance for me to learn more about the history of Ireland, which, to my shame, I didn't know enough about, but now it was a real educational experience, so, yeah. Best wishes for tonight. Thank you so much for coming to Somerville Theatre. Thank you very much. Mike. Terrific. Thank, Thank you, you, Dominic. with Simon Doyle, the producer of Gridlock, one of the premier films tonight here at the Irish Film Festival Boston 2017. Yep. Welcome to Somerville, Simon. Thank you so much. We're delighted to be here. Beautiful film. I watched the trailer of it. Hopefully I'll get to see the whole thing tonight, but tell us a little bit about the film. Uh, well, Gridlock is basically about a guy traveling with his daughter in the back roads of Ireland and he comes across a tra traffic jam. And when he gets out to see what's going on, he comes back, his daughter's missing. She's not there. So all the people in the other cars in the traffic jam, he suspects them all. So it's sort of like a, a sort of a thriller, a whodunit thriller, who, what happened to the girl. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. It's a parent's worst nightmare, though, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. So uh, the, lead, the lead character, Mo, he's, uh, he's very frantic looking, you know, like anybody loses a kid, you know, like you... you you're, it's like a bull in a china shop, you know, you want your kid back and you do anything to get it. It's beautifully shot, Simon. Where where did you shoot the bulk of the film? We shot it in Kildare. It's uh, We got funded by the Kildare County Council, so it had to be shot in Kildare. And we had a beautiful uh, uh, forest, Dunedee Forest uh, in Kildare, which was perfect for us. Like it had the We needed to shut down a road for five days, so it just, it just made total sense. Beautiful film. Congratulations on Thanks your award much. tonight. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. Do you want to go on a date sometime? What? A date. What are you on about? This train is serving all stations to drive. All stations to drive. Hey. Hey. I'm my best mate. Mischief. I hope I didn't get a plus one. It's a place of like 60 quid. I wouldn't worry about her turning up with a fella. Chance to be a fine thing. I think I'd get a fella quicker than you, Leona. Maybe. It's exciting, isn't it? No. Have a look. I believe you're looking to find someone to go to a wedding. I met a fella. Oh, what's his name? John. John Carter. From Mars. <laughs> you're going on all these days to strangers to find someone to bring to a wedding? Yeah. Not because you want to meet someone? No. You're my boyfriend, your name is John. Hello. Charlie, and this is John Carter, the chap I was telling you about. What? I don't think I'm very good at meeting people, dating, all that. You're making a show of yourself. Well, what's new, Charlene? Mary! Get off your high horse or you will end up being very lonely here. Do you have any idea what you put is true? Say that again. Me, your ma, all of us. You're still a mess. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I keep hurting people and I don't know why. Any interest in going to a wedding? We're here with Shauna Kerslake, one of the stars of A Date for Mad Mary. Welcome to Somerville. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. It really is my first time in Boston and I arrived this evening and I'm loving it so far. It's amazing. <laughs> we interviewed one of the directors last year. He had gotten off the flight 48 minutes before he got here. So. Well, I've had a bit of downtime, so I'm refreshed and ready to go and uh, looking forward to seeing all the films. You're ready for the after party too, right? I'm very ready for the after there party too, yeah. There you go. Congratulations, Director's Choice Award tonight. Yeah, we're 
delighted. So myself and Tara Lee are here on behalf of the whole film to accept the award. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. A little bit about the film, Shona. It's about a girl who comes out of prison and is looking for a date for her best friend's wedding. And the relationship is kind of strained now. Uh, everyone has moved on and she's kind of stuck in, uh, in her past. Um, so it's kind of a coming of age story for my character, Mary. Terrific. Shauna Kerslake, thank you so much. Have a good time tonight. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, get those sheep out of here.